Hey guys, all right, we're back for another uh, another video here. So this is going to be uh, our weekly video, and uh, this is uh, I'm going to do something. I'm going to get the router fired up, and we're going to carve some detail. So we've got a couple of images here um, that we took off the internet. This is, uh, and we've talked about this before. These just your a couple little uh, detailed images that we got off of. Um, uh, I, I think one of the free coloring books. And we've talked about that before. If you're looking for images like this, just go to uh, do a Google search for uh, free coloring books, and you can get all kinds of stuff like this. So, uh-oh, you hit the camera there, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Oops. Oops, that, that's my senior. Oops. Yeah, all right. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to do this a little bit different rather than carbon paper. We're going to glue the paper right down on the board, and I know a lot of you are already doing that. Robert Purcell is a, is a master at that. Um, but anyway, so uh, when I've done that before, I had issues with it, uh, with the paper kind of burn up and getting and clogging on the edge of the router base and stuff. But um, uh, several of you have uh, suggested that I use a different kind of paper. So what we're using today is um, photo paper. It's much thicker. It's not quite like cardstock, but it's much thicker. So this is the photo paper that we're using. Um, I, I would imagine any photo paper would work, but this just what happened to be what I had. This isn't gloss, this is a, a matte finish. Yeah, this is a matte finish. So um, I wanted to show that. And what happens is it's thick enough that it doesn't really burr like a regular uh, 20 pound paper. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. So follow along with me if you would, Dad. So what I'm going to do, and this is just a scrap board, a piece of my, uh, a piece of my cedar. I'm going to use uh, spray adhesive, and this stuff works pretty good, but, you know, honestly, maybe any spray adhesive would work all right. But this is a Loctite spray adhesive. Um, I've used it a couple times. So far, I'm happy with it, and uh, I've heard pretty good things about it. So this is what uh, we're going to use here. Got that, Dad? Got it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape this where I want it. And again, you you will, if you're carving this on a customer's sign, <clears throat> oh my gosh, <clears throat> I hope I'm not getting the Dave syndrome here. Getting all choked up. Oh man, can't afford it. So um, anyway, if you're carving it on a customer's sign, what I do is I ju I'll just uh, tape it down on one side. I'm going to turn it over, and then I'm going to spray both surfaces. And then I need to leave it set for about a minute. So let me move that tape out of the way. Make sure this is flowing here. We've got the doors open on the studio. Um, so we might have a little bit of a wind thing. But those that sprayed pretty good. So now I've got to give it, i got my timer here. I'm going to give it about a minute to set up. Oops, i got to clear that nozzle. Hang on. You didn't see that off, off camera, but I, I turned this up. I didn't want to spray Dad in the groin with, <laughs> with adhesive, so I turned it upside down and I sprayed for a few seconds to clear that nozzle. So that's what I was doing off camera. You're welcome, Dad. Anyway, Thank you. so, um, all right, we're at 27 seconds. So anyway, this is the first video that, uh, that we're, we're filming since I started doing, uh, since we started doing the coffee and questions. So we've been getting such great response and having such uh, so much fun with our coffee and question segment, which I'm going to be posting six days a week. So every day, except for Sunday, I'm taking Sunday off, but every day I'm going to be posting a new video uh, on questions. So keep those questions coming, guys. Where are you posting? I'm posting them on YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh, so you'll see them if you're subscribed to this channel. You'll see them, but they're also posting on our blog and a lot of different places that are kind of hooked in with our blog. So I am at one minute, so i got to stick this down. So that was just a plug for our coffee and questions. So now I'm just going to lay that down. I'm going to rub it. Put some pressure on it here. Make sure it's stuck down pretty good. Now I did this a while back, and um, something happened where I, I stuck the artwork down, and then I didn't get to carve it uh, that day. I came back out the next morning to carve it, 
and it didn't work real well. So this, um, I would suggest to go ahead and stick it down right when you're ready to carve it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, get my board up here. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I'll move my paper out of the way since I'm done gluing. Bear with me, guys. So this is... Um, you guys know what this is, but just in case you don't, it's uh, it's like shelf liner that you can get in a roll at Walmart or just about anywhere. It's, or, ru it's rubberized. Yeah, right? it's it's a rubber mat, and it just comes in a roll, and a piece will last you like forever almost. Um, or it can be uh, this particular one is a little bit thicker, so this is drawer liner for like a toolbox. Because Dad bought me a toolbox for Christmas, I had an extra piece of the drawer liner, so it can use it can that will work just as well. Okay, so that's, that's just to prevent the sign from slipping when you're yeah. carving it. What you know, the sign will move if you want to move it. And can you see that, Dad? You're, yeah. You're, okay, it will move, but once you put pressure on it then it, it's like non-skid, so it won't move after that. So what I'm going to do here, let me pop this base off. I'm going to carve one of these um, with the 60 degree, with our 60 degree V-groove. So if you can, you won't need me to move that, Dad, or nope, can you you're fine. focus in on it right where yeah. it is? Okay, so this is our 60 degree V-groove. So I'm going to carve the first one with that, then I'll go back and, and I'll carve the other one with our profile bit. Either one will work. Uh, I'll put on my eyes here. Now, when you carve in detail like this, sometimes you have to kind of pick and choose because depending on how wide your bit is cutting, and I know there will be some of you that will ask me what the depth is, um, and uh, it's just barely. <laughs> Dad, you know what I didn't do? I didn't plug in that, that cord. You want to plug that in for me? Sorry, guys, we're ad-libbing here. You want an up overhead? Uh, yeah, that's fine. If we've got, yeah, we'll have room. That's perfect. So, on, on details where you've got little tiny close details, um, sometimes you'll have to pick and choose and, and leave some of them out. Are we good? Yeah, we should be. Okay, let me find out. Yep, we got power. So sometimes, uh, as I'm carving through this, as I'm going through it, there may be some lines, depending on how deep I'm carving, maybe some lines I leave out. So you'll have to kind of just pick and choose what's important. Um, over here, when we get to that, there may be a couple really close lines that I leave out. But it doesn't really affect the overall picture. So anyway, let's just get this fired up and uh, we'll move here. So I'm going to test my cutter, and that looks pretty good. What is that, a scorpion? That is a scorpion. That's what I got. Or out here in the desert, we call them pets. <laughs> that little paper came off there, but that doesn't hurt anything. Yeah, take your router off and run your hand over that again, son. That, uh, that came up pretty good. Yeah, that, that shows what you're doing a little bit clearer. See, there's a little bit of a burr there, but nothing like if that was uh, the regular, uh, regular light, like copy paper. And it shows up good when you uh, 
when you take the router off of it, even though I'm zoomed in, shows up, yeah, when you do that, it shows up real good. Well, I'll do that a little bit more then. That's what I was hitting at. Oh, that's what you were trying to say. Yeah. I sense that. carving this, especially if I'm carving it for the first time, I would have another copy of this and I would have it posted up here in case I get into those spots and it's like, oh man, where is that line? And I would have that for reference. Um, in this particular case, because I've carved this so many times, I pretty much know where the lines are. So I don't need to do it on this one, but if I was carving something for the first time, I would, uh, I would probably have a, a, an extra copy and have it posted right where I was carving so I'd have that to reference. So, there's that one. That line down the back, right down the, between the pincher down the back is not carved or is it carved? Did I lose a line? Did I forget that, a line? That little line right down the center. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's carved. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just didn't look like it on the on camera. Okay. He's carved. <laughs> All, <right. laughs> All right. So now I'm going to uh, just change routers. I'm going to go over to the... Oops. Yeah, let's put that one over there. You want to plug this other router in for me? Oh, by the way, that router was the Porter Cable 450, which is almost identical to the DWP six uh, six eleven, which is what I'm going to use now. So now, now I can see it. Go over that again. <laughs> it's the Porter Cable four fifty. Right. So uh, it's it's almost identical, and that's why I'm just switching router base from one to the other. So you're just using that same router base that we yeah. make, right? Yeah, I'm just using this. This is you know this is our our router base plate. The router base itself comes with the router. Um, and this is the one that actually you can see I've got it labeled that one came with the Porter cable that Porter cable 450 but it fits both but the router base plate is our design that's one that uh, uh, that dad actually designed that's the one that, that we have on our website so I'm just switching switching routers you want to plug that in for me dad? I forgot to plug that sure. man alive you're getting uh I'm getting my money's worth out of you today. You're earning your keep. <laughs> Let me see what I've got here for depth. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's check it out here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, I didn't show that bit, did I? My bad. Sorry. That's our profile bit. Talk okay, to... now let me get in on that. I thought you tip, were in on it. Tip it up, no, tip it up the other way. That way? Yeah. No, I was I was zoomed in on the what you were going to carve. All right. Now we're ready. I'm moving too fast. Sorry. I'll slow down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm all set here. So here, uh, you'll see as I get down, maybe get down into these lines on these toes and stuff, there may be uh, a line or two I leave out. It just depends. Stinking flies. 
All right, here I go. it up and you wipe it off with your hand, would you recommend they have a brush to do that with or just they do it by hand? Yeah, they can do it with a brush. The only problem that you might get with a brush is it might tend to catch one of those little pieces of paper and peel it off. That's why I'm not just kind of brushing the, the fuzz down, I'm also kind of pushing it down, even though there it's peeling up a little bit, but I'm almost done with that part there. So a brush is kind of tricky, because sometimes it will be good, but sometimes it will uh, kind of defeat the purpose. Well, I thought somebody might ask that, so I thought I would. That's a good, good thinking, Brad. See, there, it, it all came off, but I had it done anyway. So I think that's about it. All right, so I think I've got all those lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off what I can of this thing. It won't all come off, but a lot of it will. The goal is to peel off as much of the paper as you can get off. So stay with me, Dad. I really don't need much more than that, at least to, to uh, do my illustration. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to sand off the rest of that. So, Dad, if you want to hand me that sander behind you on the shelf. Well, I suppose you want me to plug it in, too. Uh, no, I can plug this one in. I'm going to have to get more money. Well, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll go to the board for that and see what the, the board of directors says. All right. We'll try and get you a raise. All right, so 
Now what we're going to do, I could put that mat under there, but I don't need to. Now we've got the light coming in from the skylight. Yeah. So, so you might point that out. Uh, yeah, don't don't pay any attention to this light. We've got the door open. It's a nice sunshiny day. So that's why you're seeing this streak of light down here. So don't mind that, guys. Here we go. So it's just that simple. So the carbon paper uh, system works, guys, and, and there's nothing wrong with it. But um, I think this is a little bit faster process for you guys that, that can get your artwork printed out uh, the size you want it and the, and the way you want it. Now, what I could do is I could go back and make that deeper. Like, for instance, if you look at the, the scorpion, it's not near as deep or as wide as the as the dog there so either one of those I could now go back and just set deeper and go and make a bigger line all the way around there and as far as that the glue and the paper on your um, on your sanding belt uh, I don't have a belt cleaner out here but the belt cleaner takes it right off you guys know what I mean as far as the belt cleaner uh, check some of get that rubberized yeah that, that rubberized uh, looks like a big eraser uh, but that takes that stuff right off. So um, there you go, guys. That's that's. Are you going to spray that and sand it off, or are you just going to? No, 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 no. They oh. can, they they don't know what it, it'll okay. look like. Um, so I just wanted to do this as far as showing how I uh, a kind of a new way, and with that photo paper, it really um, it really comes out comes out nice. So I, I like our our the rest of our videos. If you guys have a uh, any curiosity about how these would come out uh, when they're sprayed and sanded off then just check out uh, some of our other videos we've got tons of them um, and matter of fact I may go ahead and, and list that in the description so a lot of times when you're watching these video guys um, these will be updates to videos that we've done in the past so um, always check the description because there may be things in there that this is an update from a, a, a prior video. So always check the description on, uh, on these things. So anyway, I think that is about it. Um, again, on our, uh, our coffee and question segments, thanks again for all of the, all of the great responses and the likes and, uh, and a lot of you guys are sharing it, so we would ask that if you could share it and, and spread the word, uh, we'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll just keep doing those as long as we can. So keep sending in the questions, give us feedback, and uh, we'll keep filming. We'll 